This video on alloy chain slings can be used for educational purposes or safety meetings in the workplace. This video will reference the ASME B30.9 standard, but the manufacturer's specifications must always be referenced and made accessible to users. Manufacturer-specific information will provide workers with the product's limitations, use, and inspection requirements. The seven items required to be marked on alloy chain slings are the manufacturer, the grade of the chain, the chain size, number of legs on the chain, the rated load, chain length, and the sling identification number. ASME states that the acceptable temperature range for alloy chain slings goes from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 204 degrees Celsius. A few reasons why an alloy chain sling may have to be removed from service are missing or illegible identification, cracks or breaks, excessive wear, nicks or gouges, stretched links or fittings, bent, twisted or deformed links or fittings, evidence of heat damage, excessive pitting or corrosion, lack of free hinge movement from the chain or fittings, or weld splatter. If using an alloy chain sling around an edge or corner, the sling must be protected with a material of sufficient strength, thickness, and construction to prevent damage to the chain. On a bridle or multi-legged sling, the rated load is generally based on a horizontal sling angle of 60 degrees. If you reduce the angle of the chain sling's choke hitch less than 120 degrees against the load, you will reduce the rated load. For example, at 120 degrees, the rated load is at 100% of the choke rating. However, when the hitch angle is reduced to 90 degrees, the chain sling only operates at 87% of the choke rating. If you decrease this even further to a 29 degree hitch angle, the chain sling will only be operating at 49% of its rated choke capacity. This table shows the choker hitch rated capacity adjustment. Always check with the manufacturer specification for accurate load capacity. The recommended size ratio for alloy chain slings is 6 to 1. As the diagram shows, as the load diameter decreases, so does the capacity of the sling. It's not recommended to go less than two times the sling's diameter. As the horizontal sling angle decreases, the sling tension increases. The worker must be aware of the effects of the horizontal sling angle by referring to the manufacturer's specifications. Normally, if the horizontal sling angle is at 60 degrees, the tension increases by 15%. At 45 degrees, the sling tension increases by 41%. And at 30 degrees, the sling tension increases by 100%. When storing alloy chain slings, it is best to keep them somewhere safe and clean so the slings can avoid mechanical damage, corrosion, moisture, as well as adverse temperatures. ASME states that there is a minimum standard of an annual periodical inspection of alloy chain slings. Check with your employer for their equipment inspection schedule.